Hi guys, today I'm going to take you through a little advanced hamstring focused flow. You are going to need one dumbbell, go for a heavy dumbbell. I only have a five kilo, you can definitely go five, six, seven, eight. We're holding it in two hands here. You'll also need one blue spring on. If you feel like you need a little bit more support for this first exercise, go for a red spring. All right, let's get going. Dumbbell can go down on the floor on the right hand side of your reformer. Let's take a lie down for some bridges. Popping the feet up on that foot bar. We're going to take our bridge, tucking that tail under, peeling the hips up to the ceiling and rolling back down. Now you're on a super light spring here, so we're thinking about pulling that carriage closed, connecting your bottom towards your heels to stop that carriage from going anywhere. Taking it slow, breathing through. You should really feel those hamstrings working hard to stop that carriage from going anywhere. In three, we're going to add on to this one. In two, Let's go for one more bridge. We roll it down, reaching your right leg straight up to the ceiling. We roll up through our bridge, hold it there. Foot goes to foot bar, left heel to ceiling, roll it down. Keep that leg long, we roll back up, foot to ceiling. Foot bar, ceiling, roll it down. Rolling up on one leg, Swapping legs at the top before melting back down. Now, if that's not quite for you today, continue with those double leg hamstrings. You're still going to get plenty out of this movement. Fifteen more seconds in this one. Breathing through. Make sure you're lifting from those hips and those hamstrings rather than arching into that low back. You have another five, four. We hold at the top with both heels down. In three, two, both heels down, hold. Pulse your hips down an inch, up an inch. Down and up. Four, five. Four, three, two, one, roll it down. Oh, they should be feeling nice and warm now. Jumping off onto the right hand side of that carriage. This time we're taking all of the springs off. Pick up that dumbbell, holding it in two hands. Right foot behind that foot bar, left foot up against the shoulder post. Dumbbell goes long, we're going to have a soft bend into that right knee, so we're not locking back into that joint. Gliding the left leg long to take that carriage out, we're going to tip up and over, reaching the dumbbell straight down that right leg. Exhale to pull yourself back up. So we're not going for a lunge today, we're keeping that right leg long, we're tipping the chest up and over. Stretching that left knee and then gliding it back in. Think about keeping your shoulders rolling down and back. Chest stays open. Woo, it's going to be a little bit wobbly. Good. If you're feeling like no springs is just too much today, go for one yellow spring or your lighter spring option. As we go down, think about tipping from that pelvis and popping your weight back into your heel. Really gliding that dumbbell as close as you can down that leg before gliding back up. 
take it slow. Absolutely no need to rush here. We're going to add in a scooter and a row at the bottom. Next time you're down there, hold. We narrow row that dumbbell as we scoot the carriage in. Out. Woo. Stand it up. Definitely firing into that hamstring. Tip it over. Scooter and row in. Out. Bring it up. You have another 20 seconds here. Ten more seconds before we hold it at the bottom. Last three, two, hold it down to go for eight scooters, eight rows. Weight into that heel, long through that spine. You are here for four, three, last two. And the last one, glide it back on in. Nice work, guys. Pop that dumbbell down onto your platform for a second. Let's go for a red, blue, yellow string here, just for a quick little quad burnout. We're going for a standing icebreaker. Hands onto that foot bar, feet up against the shoulder post. From here, we send our bottom back, hinging from those shoulders. We're going to power through those legs. So push the carriage out and in, out and in. We're trying to keep those knees as close down towards the carriage as possible. Shoulders as far back from the foot bar as you can get. 30 seconds here with this movement, raising that heart rate. Fifteen seconds to go. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Jumping off to the left hand side of your reformer. We're going to take those springs all off again. No springs. Grab that dumbbell. Left foot behind that foot bar, right foot shoulder post. Arms along from here. Soft bend through that left knee. We tip at the pelvis, glide the dumbbell straight down the front of the leg. Chest stays open. Glide it back up. Think about your weight going back into that heel. Reach, reach, reach. And return. Connecting into that left hamstring straight away. Keep that breath going. Keep it slow and steady. Next time we go down, let's add in that scooter and row again. Gliding that carriage out, we hold. Scooter and row, in. Out. Stand it back up. Tipping up and over.
Breathe it out. Twenty more seconds here. Getting deep into that hamstring. The heavier the dumbbell here, the more it's going to work. You have another 10 seconds before we hold it at the bottom for our scooter and row only. Last five, four, three, two, hold it down. We have eight scooters, eight rows. Four, seven. Last six, you have five, four, three, two, and last one, Whew. stand it up. Not quite done, one last little finisher. We're going to add on a blue spring again here. If you would like a little bit more support, go for that red spring option. Let's keep that dumbbell with us. We're going to take a lie down again, one last time on that carriage. Heels come to the footbar, dumbbell reaching up to the ceiling. We're gonna hold it in two hands here. We're peeling our hips up into our bridge. Hold it up. Pulse your hips down an inch. All the way back up, roll it down. Again, you're on a light spring, so keeping that carriage closed in at the stopper by pulling your hips towards your heels. Let's add in our triceps. Next time you're up there, as the hips go down, we bend our elbows, dumbbell towards the forehead. Straight back up to the ceiling, we roll it back down. Peeling up, we pulse. Tricep, reach, return. 20 seconds here, breathing through. You have another 10 seconds before we hold it at the top. We're going to pulse it out in five. Final push on those hamstrings. In three, two, roll those hips up high, hold. We pulse down and up. Four, seven, breathe through, six, Keep that courage closed in at the stopper. Five, four, last three, two, last one, and roll it down. Nice work team. You might like to go for a little hamstring stretch after that one. You are all done. Thanks for joining me today, guys. See you next time.